these two western diamondback rattlesnakes that live together in that cave are females. The male, his name is Batwing. He lives in a different enclosure at this right now. Sometimes they all three live together, actually. They were raised together. I got them all together. So I'm going to do this right here and put it back there. That's a big rat. So I'm hoping that rat won't jump out of the cage because I want to do it with these doors open. Yeah, that, that's a one-eyed rat. Huh. Well, he's got two snakes now. They're both coming out. They're both at the same time, too. Oh, my goodness. The one on top is bashful. You wouldn't think so because it seems like she's coming out first, but the one on bottom is Big D. And they're doing it at the same exact time. I may have to throw another rat in here pretty quick. Oh. Now, Bashful missed. She kind of got a little ahead of herself a little bit, just a little bit. You can see how beautiful she is, though. Look at Bashful. She's absolutely gorgeous. Her and uh, Batwing make a good couple. They're going to make some really pretty babies. And there's a bite on the rat. And everybody's favorite rock. Everybody loves that big rock right in the middle. Oh my goodness. That second strike was just amazing. What's kind of cool about these rattlesnakes right here are they're kind of used to me being here. They're kind of in a traffic area. So there's... A... Now that was very nice. Thank you, Big D. And they're in a traffic area, so they're kind of used to the movement around here. And then I'm over here with the camera, and they're kind of used to it. They've been raised here. Their whole life has been spent basically in that... At least a year of that, their life has been in that cage right there. She should be due to have babies sometime around Christmas. And she looks like she's pretty fat. I know she's hungry. She eats a lot. And she's putting on... Oh, look at that. Oh, thank you. I love it when they do that. Bashful's not so bashful anymore, is she? I think she's coming out of her shell. Or cave. Whatever you want to call that thing. And Bashful's fixing to get, get her meal. Petrified wood. From the petrified forest. As a matter of fact, that pet piece of petrified wood right there came from the petrified national park. They complain that all the wood's disappearing, but then they're selling it in the gift shop. Figure that one out. It was expensive. But if you're running out of wood in the forest, why are you selling it in the gift shop? What that venom is doing inside there right now is already starting to digest that rat.
Yes. Ooh. Huge mouthful in the right direction. I'm glad to see that. remember when Bashful wouldn't touch a rat. I think the first year of her life, uh, Big D and Batwing, they, they switched over to rats almost immediately. As soon as the, they were all big enough to start eating little baby rats, I started feeding them baby rats. But Bashful here in the front right there, she didn't like rats. She just refused to eat rats. And I kept having to feed her mice. So next thing you know, I'm feeding her these big mice because... And the mice weren't doing it. The others were getting big, and Bashful was, wasn't growing as much because she was stuck on mice. But now look at her. She has no problem eating a rat now, does she? See you, Big D, coming into the picture. Big D's like, what about me, man? Big D, no one can beat that you're the lady of the house. Everyone knows who the matriarch is. And that is Big D for sure. No one has bigger diamonds than Big D. Alright, I need to close these doors, guys. Love y'all. Bye.